I want to show you something special today. By the time this clip is aired on our YouTube channel, this rod would be available already. This is the Daiwa Longbow X45 DF. It's a spod and marker rod. It's a beautiful, beautiful stiff rod. It's got minima guides. It's got the X45 wrapping. It is a work of art. And then paired with this, I'm using the Crosscast Carp 5000 CQD which is a shallow spooled reel but absolutely perfect for marker floating feature finding and those sort of things so what I'm going to do now I am going to first of all cast this lead out this is the this is a quarter lead it is a marker float lead it's got little um, probes on the sides and what I want to do is I want to feel the bottom I know there's lots of weed here, so I want to first feel that thump on the bottom as soon as the lead hits the bottom. And, this, and then I want to just pull around and just see if there's nice clear areas. And if I can find an area that's clear enough, I'm going to clip the rod up, come and do the measuring around the measuring sticks, and then I'm going to put on the marker float. Once I've got the marker float on, I'm going to pop it up, and then we're going to do the spotting. So let's give it a go. I found a nice clear area, but after pulling it probably about 10 or 15 meters, I'm now really stuck in the weed. So I'm just dragging a whole patch of weed back with me. So I know at that give and take 65 to 75 meters, it is nice and clear. So I don't want to mess around with a marker float in an area where I know I'm going to get stuck. So I just want to get this patch of weed in and then I'm going to put the marker float on, find the clear area, pop it up and I know that if there's a clear area, the fish might have started eating around there and moved the weed away. Because this particular weed actually moves around on the bottom. It's not entirely fixed. So if you drag a lead through it, it attaches to the lead immediately. So the first thing is I put on the lead. It sits like that. So then I slide this on. I slide this on. And just pull it all the way through. Right, I've just cast out the line and found the thump, gave it just one pull so I could feel that tap 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 on the on the on the rod tip and now I've got it on a tight tight line. So this is where this quick drag reel comes in because I'm just releasing it and I'm gonna go one foot, two foot, three. Nineteen foot. So you'll notice now when the camera pans around, you'll see that bright orange marker sitting right there where I want to put the bait out. The spot where the marker float is popped up and it is exactly 92 meters. So 
you must remember when you cast out I'm extending my arm probably a meter once it's hit the line clip and I throw my hand forward so I don't want to clip up the spom so it's exactly at 92 meters so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip it up at 91 meters and see how close I land to the marker It's important that when you spawn that you're not all over the show. Now I've got a trick that makes the accuracy so much better. Now if I were to show you like this, when I grip the rod, you see that there's a V. Let me just clip that up. I'll rest this on my shoulder. When I hold it like that, you see there's a V between my thumb and my forefinger. Now what I do is I aim through that. That is my direction. So when I pull, I don't pull this way. I actually pull into my rib cage, And that helps me with this arm being my pivot point and my right hand being the power. But it's also, it's also aiding me that when I pull through, I pull through in a straight line. So that's how I am within a half a meter or a meter of that marker and that's the only way of creating proper consistency the spawn is a very interesting thing in the sense that the minute it hits the water it pops open and it releases the feed so you'll see this is the lip area this one has got a little cavity I fill this one and you can fill it as much as you like or as heavy as you like but probably this much is more than adequate and I just close it up I shake everything that the total weight is on the nose end and I cast it out <laughs> 